What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel for the next episode of Gamer to Gainer. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying. If you haven't checked out the last video, please make sure you check that out. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel as well for more. And to, you know, clarify, you know, the meaning of all this. That doesn't mean, you know, from gamer to gainer, like quit, cut, you know, quit the games and get the left in. No, I literally game like five hours to six hours every single day. I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash FB Aftermath. <coughs> Follow that, you know. So catch me on that, some Apex. You already know what it is. Today we'll be focusing on shoulders, okay? Um, possibly shoulders, arms, shoulders and arms. And usually I don't start off people like this, but the reason why is because I feel like this is a good base for people who are, you know, from, from like beginner to intermediate, style of training. Um, usually I have like upper body, lower body style of training for people I start off with, but I've been, you know, enjoying the, you know, three exercises, a muscle, um, the 15, 10, 5 um, rep scheme. Um, but today for certain exercises, we won't be doing the 10, 15, 5. We'll be doing the 20, 15, 10 instead. And uh, I'll show you guys why. But that being said, let's get to it. Hope you guys enjoy. Just sand gear right here. Also, one more plug in. Let me go grab it real quick. Of course, my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. Keep your dreams intact. All right, guys, we got the creative Outlier Gold. Headphones right here. Look, I'm about to use a new pair right now straight out the package because they already come They already come charged man. So once you order them You take it out you order them they come in the mail you go to the gym with a new package Matter of fact you open a new gym at the package just to show everybody you got the new sauce All right, these headphones are great. All right, you really have to get these with code aftermath though code aftermath for your 10% discount 10% discount so grab these bad boys man and let's get it yo does anybody remember BET uncut that's what like the the, the titties are you know what BET uncut is yeah you remember that bro she know what BET uncut is Jeff don't know what BET uncut is that's not a New York thing I don't BET plays the same everywhere I don't, you don't look like a person that watched BET Y'all don't even remember. Exactly. Like this is like black movies. Oh, yeah, they play uncut. they play black movies uncut. Nah, I don't remember that though. Yeah. Yeah, yo. Ludacris, bro? With the what's the fucking album with the chicken leg and shit? Alright, so first off we're gonna start with lateral raises. The reason why is because I feel my joints and shoulders feel better when it comes to dumbbell pressing when they're engorged with blood. First off, so this is how I do things. You know, if you feel more comfortable getting the strength part of the shoulder press done first, then so be it. Um, you do you, but this is my opinion on how to start off. So what we're gonna do, like I said, we usually do the, the 15, 10, 5, which is, you know, for, you know, some volume, some mid strength, and then a strength set. We're gonna do the 20, 15, 10, two sets of each. So two sets of 20, two sets of 15, two sets of uh, 10. And we're just really going to pump out the uh, the shoulders to cap those shoulders and really make a good look from the outside. So creating more width, making you broader. So with lateral raises, you don't need to go crazy heavy. Like I said, 20 reps for the first set. I'm using 15s and I'm strong as fuck. So just put that into perspective. I'm not trying to be a dick. Also, when I do lateral raises, I start right here from the front and I go out right here. Don't shrug, keep this down, stay tight.
sets, 10 reps. I got the 25s. So, the reason why you don't do five reps for the laterals is pretty much due to you're not, laterals aren't meant to be a strength exercise. All right, when you do lateral raises, this is more for capping out the shoulders, building more volume in the shoulders, oh, excuse me, and more of a controlled movement. All right, so like, you know, pressing, that's a different story. You can definitely, you know, do like a max out press or something. We don't max out on lateral raises, like that's stupid. So this is more of a, a build, customization, feel movement, rather than a strength movement. So that is why we don't do five reps. I'm kind of fat right now, I had like Chipotle and shit, so you're not gonna see like my striations and shit right now. But when I come back from Kansas, So, you know, for my guys that have been on this channel in a while, you know you've probably seen these movements and stuff before. You know, the, the type of crowd that I'm trying to gather in right now is a lot of beginners, intermediate people, and I'm just like reintroducing exercise and trying to introduce more exercise in their lives. And um, I mean, you can still learn some stuff, you know, from me um, with these, you know, basic type of exercises. And I will be getting into advanced um, exercises for everyone. Maybe I should start labeling the videos a little bit more like beginners, you know, advanced, like something at the end and like put them in a different playlist. Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna start doing that uh, so I can keep like switching things up for my people that are new and my people that have been here for a while learning from me. So those exercises will be coming for you guys. So now we're gonna move on to shoulder press. Remember, this is dumbbells only week, no barbells. Balance, perfecting balance is key. So now we are back to the 15, 10, 5 uh, set. So we'll probably start off with this. Probably start off with the 55s for 15. This, these headphones are good, yo. I can't like I can't even hear myself talking right now, like, or the music playing. So a new a new thing for everybody is I do shoulder presses and my natural movement. Usually they tell you to bring it out here and do it like this. I do it like this, all right? My elbow's a little bit more in and I press in a more natural movement rather than bringing it out here and getting a lot of pinches occurring in my shoulders. But in order for me to hit that, when you go like this, you hit that front delt a lot instead of like right here. You still hit that front delt, but right here it hits it more, which I understand. But in order for me to hit that front delt more, I do cross, I do front raises or cross and try to squeeze into that area, which we'll do after this. Start it up. Damn, my neck long as fuck. Fucking long. So this week, with this first set of training, we're gonna stick with the 10, 15, five. If it's not a strength movement, we do the 20, 15, 10. And as time goes on, as you get more developed, we're gonna put together full upper body and lower body exercises. Right now, we've been working singular muscle groups and that's just for you to get used to the certain pyramid style of training. So when we switch it over, we'll be doing pyramid style, which would be like, you know, 15, 12, 10, 8, 6 sets like that, rather than two sets of the same number. And uh, you gradually increase weight each time, which gets pretty annoying, but you're, you're starting to build that gym flow of, of how things go, you know? Usually I'm, I'm used, to, I do pyramid sets. I've always done pyramid sets my whole life. Um, sometimes I'll do like the same weight for a certain amount of numbers, but I feel like pyramid sets are supreme because you get some volume work as well as strength work as well. And um, that's what I like to start people off with and actually continue people on with. 
Today we'll do, we'll do nutrition, I'll have a video where we'll talk about nutrition, supplementation, what supplements I take, what supplements can help you. No, these aren't sponsored supplements. I'm literally, my only sponsor with supplements is G Fuel, and it's a fucking energy drink. So, I'm not bullshitting on you on anything. I don't get commission on what I'm about to tell you uh, on the next video besides G Fuel. Use code Aftermath for 10% off. And uh, yeah, but that's it. This is all like legit for you guys. And I talk about all this shit on my Twitch streams as well, coming into the chat. You know, if you got questions and I'm not busy trying to, you know, be a park champ, then uh, I'll have time to answer them. I did two sets of this already, so we're going up in weight. We can go 70 for 10. Thinking about a hundred for five, but that might be that might be buck. We'll go, we'll go 90. 90 feel good, then I'll go to 100. Let's crush my toes. I ain't got no socks in. We'll stay at 90. Yep. Sounds about good. Plate raises, front plate raises, bring it to eye level, back down, boom, boom, 15. Let's do 15, 12, 10 for this one. Cause doing this with five is pretty, pretty difficult. Switch this out. And the reason why is, is to teach you guys to use unilateral movement, single arm, working everything separately. So we're going to actually move to the dumbbells. Just like the laterals. So we're going to start on the outside and come to the head like a triangle, like the top of a triangle. Woo, that's a burn right there. That's a vibe. So now we got 12 reps.
gonna stay with that same thing, 15, 12, 10. I got these fives. Now, one thing that a lot of people do not train enough is the rear delts. So what we're gonna do is lie down, get out wide, come up, down, one, two, Actually, no, I can do, I just remind, I just thought about this. I can do uh, 15, 10, fives on these because we do want to work on rear delt strength because that's what's going to help you balance out your shoulder rotation when it comes to benching and stuff. You need to, you need to train rear delts with some strength. Keep it strict. We don't want to like throw that ass back. All right, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed the workout. Make sure you like and subscribe once again. More exercises to come. Uh, trying to be consistent with this. I'll be gone for like a week or so, so this video will be out. And hopefully, we can get the next one out. Um, you know, as soon as possible when I get back. But that being said, keep up with me on Instagram at FB Aftermath, Twitter FB Aftermath, same stuff, and then on YouTube as you see right now. So hit that notification button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12.